So I just watched a movie called City Dragon. And I can't emphasize this enough, it's unlike anything else I've ever seen. So, first off, uh, here's what the box art looks like. Yeah? So, the movie stars a man named MC Kung Fu. Like, let's really take a look at that. You see this? His name is MC Kung Fu. Not the character name, the dude's name. So that's the first thing you need to know. That's why I picked up the movie, was the box art, and it stars a man named MC Kung Fu. This is a movie I just randomly picked out of a bargain bin somewhere. It is uh, something I knew nothing about going into it, and I just picked out randomly from my stack of garbage movies. So I had low expectations going into this. Uh, usually, 99% of the time with these movies, nothing notable about them. Like, they're just super boring and really awful, and that that's all there is to it. But occasionally, you get lucky, uh, and they're just so bizarre that you have to talk about them. And this is a movie I don't think people know about, for the most part. Like, you can't find it digitally anywhere. If you go on YouTube, all you will find is the music video section, which I'll talk about in just a second. Uh, the movie is sort of a knockoff of a knockoff, in the sense that it's a clearly trying to ape on uh, The Last Dragon, which is a great classic uh, B-movie that sort of integrates black exploitation with like Bruce Lee-style movies that was produced by Barry Gordy. It's a blast. Go check it out. Last Dragon's a blast. Uh, which, in itself, again, it's sort of knocking off from black exploitation uh, and Bruce Lee stuff. So, what City Dragon does is, at least at first, it looks like it's going to take a lot of the things that were kind of charming about The Last Dragon and just make them more, but cheaper. Uh, so the first sequence of the movie is someone trying to hijack MC Kung Fu's car. Uh, MC Kung Fu then proceeds to beat them all up, which I expected that. Uh, and then the next two or three sequences are just MC Kung Fu picking up women with some of the worst rhymes I've ever heard. Oh baby, what can I say? We loves to look lingerie. And I hope your sheets are clean and sick. Cause honey, it's time for us to sweat. In bed, oh what a team. Pretty Van J and me. Making love, girl, we got it on. Two days straight, now I must be gone. That look in your eyes gives me a scary feeling. <laughs> That's relationship. That's why I'm peeling. Oh yes, call me cool or call me batty. But I'd like to thank your daddy and your mammy. Such a kick-ass fanny. Oh, yes, I got cash money. How about we go out, honey? Sorry, Donald Trumpet. This lady ain't no puppet. Three home dogs getting busy. Knocking boots, we make girls dizzy. Three of us having a ball. So many women will have them all. I saw you feeling down, so I thought I'd come around and cheer you up. <laughs> a lady as lovely as they. Should be happy as can be. This morning, I met this girl named Tina. Body so lean, face like a queen, graceful as a ballerina. You weird freaking hyena, what the hell do you mean? Ain't no time to be in love when you a big ass stud. You end up a dud, cuz. Hey, but I, I never met an angel so intriguing that I first wanted to get into her head before getting her into bed. <laughs> you sound like Oprah Winfrey, my man. Get into our head. I'll give you a break. <laughs> hey, I'll sit this one out. I'm in love without a doubt. Hey, man, you really straight out tripping. If I your daddy, I give you a whipping. Wake up, my brother. Ain't no time to be in love. Sexy babes are waiting. I'm more than anticipating the girls will be dating. At that point, I assumed I knew what this movie was going to be. About 15 minutes in, we've got MC Kung Fu, who's beaten up some bad guys and picked up some women and done a lot of bad rhyming. And I was like, okay, so... He's kind of like a hybrid of uh, Bruce Leroy and Shonuff from The Last Dragon. So he's like, I don't know, He's it'll be fun, I guess. He'll beat people up and then occasionally rap and that sort of thing. Whatever. Uh, like, there's a music video sequence that immediately uh, follows him picking up women called Scandalous. Uh, which was supposed to, be, supposed to be the name of the movie. Uh, and it was changed to Last Dragon for some reason. Or not Last Dragon, City Dragon. Uh, so... I thought I had a handle on what this would be. And that's fine, honestly. I would have been so pleased if that's what this movie was. Um, but it isn't. Because after this introduction to these characters, we get a plot. And this plot involves MC Kung Fu falling in love. Which, 
Honestly, I expected a love story. There's always going to be a love story in this kind of thing, but where it goes is not what I expected. So by the end of this movie, MC Kung Fu is in love, married, has a child, child is kidnapped and attempted to throw, be thrown off building. Uh, maybe I should back up a bit. So MC Kung Fu woos a woman that he comes to love away from a, a at first just seems to be an abuser, but turns out to be a serial killer. Uh, and he takes offense to this. And um, slowly, but surely, he starts murdering people after she leaves him, uh, is convicted of murder, multiple murders, is put into an asylum, and then comes up with an elaborate plot to escape the asylum uh, by having an MRI taken at a hospital. In perfect timing, he winds up at the hospital right as the child of MC Kung Fu and uh, his love interest is being born. So he kidnaps the baby at the hospital after escaping, takes it up to the roof, and threatens to throw it off a building. The climax of this movie involves a serial killer trying to throw a baby off a building. This movie climaxes with a serial killer trying to throw a baby off a building. And I wish that was like the extent of what was weird about this movie, but like, I couldn't even go into it all. There's so much strange going on in this movie. Like, uh, there's so many like subplots with, uh, so MC Kung Fu has two like primary cohorts. One of them is named Filthy Phil, who is also the director, uh, who apparently plays himself in some sort of form, because he's also credited as Filthy Phil. Uh, who is like a, a a local DJ or something, and uh, winds up getting stabbed in the gut uh, during a fight, uh, just randomly. He's not even fighting. He's just standing in the background, and then a dude just sort of turns to him and stabs him for no reason. Uh, and yeah, he winds up surviving and such, but he's just sort of in the background. He's barely in the movie. Uh, and then the other cohort is a white dude who's the most obnoxious character I've ever seen in a movie, and uh, basically is, uh, like, he's the id of MC Kung Fu, I guess. He's constantly trying to get him to go out and continue his scandalous ways uh, after he is married. And he winds up getting a weird comeuppance in which uh, one of the girls he manipulates winds up holding him at gunpoint to dance naked in public. Uh, and yeah, that sounds really intense, but it's played for jokes, and it's like, that's another sequence that I'm like, what's happening? Uh, because you're supposed to be pulling for her, but she's hol holding a guy at gunpoint with like a big gun, uh, in a park at night, and makes him take all of his clothes off and dance around. Oh, it's weird. This movie's just really weird. Uh, yeah, I wish there was more about this movie out there. Like, I have only scratched the surface with what I've said here. If any of this sounds interesting to you. If you like black exploitation movies, if you uh, gleefully cringe at early 90s fashion, uh, if you like bad puns and bad rhymes, if you want to see a movie go totally off the rails from its original concept, City Dragon delivers so much. Uh, it goes so off focus from being a kung fu black exploitation movie into being a heavy personal drama involving abortion and involving throwing babies off buildings and involving blackmail and adultery. It is so confused. It's like unbelievable what this movie is. So if you happen to come across the sole feature of MC Kung Fu, you have to see it. As far as I know, it doesn't exist anywhere digitally, but you can find the DVD. I believe it's on Amazon. Or at least, check out on YouTube the scandalous music video that was pulled from this movie. The random music video in the middle of it. Uh, I'll post it here. I'll also post some quotes from this movie. Like, I just want more people to see this thing. I can't be the only one that knows about this movie. More people need to see this, so all those other bad movie people out there, with all your big YouTube and, and podcasty whatnots, watch City Dragon, expose it to the world, and really just shout it from the fucking rooftops. This is so ridiculous. So, that's what I've got to say about City Dragon. I, I could keep going on about it forever, because I'm so perplexed by it. 
But, end of story, find a copy of this. It's gonna cost you, like, what, five bucks, maybe? Just trust me. Trust me on this. Watch this movie. It's so awful. It looks like it was filmed on VHS. It has the worst 90s fashion you'll ever see. Some of the worst rhyming you will ever hear. The plot goes off the rails so fast and goes into such deep, dark, unexpected places. It's amazing. Ah uh, yeah, here we go, here we go, fellas. Three, Three home dogs, it is our duty to get us some trim, to get us some booty. Do the dog catch a baby, do the dog catch a baby. Get the drinks in my hair, look like black hair, but the lovers I have must grin and bear. 